and welcome to another video in my Photoshop Essential Skills series. Everything you need to know to get you well and truly started on your journey of discovery with Photoshop. In this video we're going to be exploring keyboard shortcuts. Now don't forget if you're a fan of the printed page there is a free ebook to accompany the video. Just click on the link in the more section under the video to download it. OK so let's dig in. Well, what are we going to learn in this video? Well, we're going to identify and use five selection keyboard shortcuts. So, lots to do. Let's get on. Now, making selections is a core skill in taking command of Photoshop. Now, these are my top five helpful shortcuts to help you become a Photoshop shortcut ninja. Shortcut ninjas, we laugh at menus. Ha 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 ha! Hmm, maybe the acting lessons would have been a good investment. Anyway, let's get on. Number one, deselect selection. Now, it's quite often we've made a selection and we've done something with it. We've cut the sky out, whatever. But now we're finished with it and we want to get rid of it. So now, anything further that we do will only happen in the selection and that's not good. So to deselect the selection, there's a really cute keyboard shortcut and that's control and D and there it was gone. Number two inversing the selection. Now sometimes it's easier to select the part you don't want rather than the part you do want. Now let's say for instance in this case it's easier for me to select the sky because it's fairly evenly toned with a, got a little a few fluffy bits in it but it's easier to select than it is the ground. So what I've done is I've selected that first and so now the sky is selected, the building is not selected. Now I want to inverse that selection. I want to make the building selected and the sky not selected. So I can do that with a cute little shortcut, Control, Shift and I. And now the selection is inverse. Now the sky is not selected and the ground and the building is selected. Is that not easier than going up and using those menu things? Number three, hide those selection lines. Now if we look at this selection sometimes it can really get in your way. You, you need to look at something else in the image and these marching ants can be really annoying. Now what you can do is just hide those selection lines so you can have a good look and evaluate your image. And you do that with the keyboard shortcut of Control and H. Now that selection is still live. We just can't see it. So what you've got to remember is that when you're finished doing your evaluation and having a good look, then you press Control and H again to bring back the selection and then go on from there. Either delete the selection or refine it further. Number four, load mask as a selection. Now you might have a mask on an image like we've got here and want to convert it back to a selection so you can work on it some more. Now to do that there's a very nifty little keyboard shortcut. We hold the control key down and we click on the mask and not on the image. We click on the mask icon here. If we click on that you'll see that you get a little square with a hand and once we've clicked on it the actual selection reappears so we can work on it some more. Now what this does, it selects all the white parts of the mask and deselects all the black parts of the mask. And anything that's in between, any greys, are partially selected. Number five, refine edge. Now once we have a selection, it's actually got an edge like a scalpel cut. It's very severe, very sharp. Now if we want this to look realistic, if we're compositing for instance, if we drop these selected pixels into another image, we need to control its edge characteristics to make it look good. Now this is called refining the selection edge and we've got a brilliant tool to do that now. It's called Refine Edge. Now the keyboard shortcut for this is Control, Alt and R for Refine Edge. And this brings up one awesome dialog box where you can be the master of your own selection's destiny. Ooh. Oh, that sounds a bit deep. Well, well, we are ninjas. 
Well, that's the end of our chat about selection shortcuts ninjas. Join me in the next episode for more shortcuts to bring you inner peace and tranquility. Okay, a quick recap on what we've done in this video. We've identified and used five selection keyboard shortcuts to speed up your workflow. Well, that's it for this video. I do hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment under the video. Or share it with a friend or two. Don't forget to check out the more area under the video for the link to any download files or free ebooks. And please click the subscribe button so when I upload a new video, you are the first to know. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.